My name is Susan Delaney. I'm an artist in Red Deer. I've been making art for um, probably 15 years or more. I grew up with art and artists. My mother was a, a public art gallery employee and um, this was in London in the 70s so the artists that I that were around were people like Ray Colonel and Patterson Ewan and and Jamie Hassan and all those people and I you know, of course had no idea that they were going to be important someday. <laughs> I had an instructor say to me one time, Sue, it's almost as if you studied art in the 70s. So I thought that was pretty funny because of course it was true. This was a really good article written by Carl Hahn in the scene. You know, often somebody who's interpreting your work will be able to describe it better than you can. So um, Carl describes um, that I love abstraction and layering mixed media, which is true. These are among my favorite new abstract pieces. There were four. One of them is gone. They're just layered mixed media, layered collage and paint. Very intuitive. Sort of just reaching for the next thing and doing that until it's done. There was a particular series class in which I thought, no, I got to do quite a lot more of this. <laughs> so I quit my job and went back to school. These are more recent. They aren't stretched yet. Uh, just totally abstract. And then there's a bigger one for that. I think of these, I like this one the best. Uh, what is it that I like about it? The composition, but obviously there's something um, almost accidental about it. Like if you find something really interesting to look at when that's not made by a human, like rust or something like that, it has that feeling to it. These are a little bit more deliberate. This one, um, loosely inspired by some dream imagery involving a castle, which you can't really and then this one is um, called Red Deer River with Jansen and it, it, the book pages in it are from the first year art history text, History of Art by Jansen, which every art student knows inside out and backwards. And I have an art history background, so it kind of, it's kind of autobiographical too. I've done a lot of Red Deer River landscapes and I've done a lot of Jansen, so I guess that's where that came from. These are both from uh, black and white photographs of my mother from the 50s maybe. I often get seduced by a piece before I even get started on it. These are um, based on really reduced polarization, right? So there's just three or four values in them. And I like what I like about them is that they, they communicate something about an old photograph somehow. A couple of self-portraits that I've done over the years, and these are done with image transfer on book pages mostly, and other mixed media. Artists use themselves a lot, and people wonder if it's ego, but mostly it's just convenience. And these are some pictures of um, places that have been, like New York City or Greece or whatever. Architecture, which was what I was interested in. More me when I was in my 20s, 30s. <laughs> Like I said, it's what you have to work with, and then it becomes interesting because of the autobiographical information that can't help but end up in it. A lot of it seems to me is um, there's the anybody could do that, but there's also the decision making that comes with. So often there will be accidents and they're just awful. So it's the decision making I think that makes a person's art interesting. You think of the things you've learned, and it's not that I would never break those rules, but um, you, you try breaking the rule, you try a few times, it tends to work better if you don't, so you, you start respecting it. <laughs> Working in layers suits me, and obscuring and revealing, and it doesn't matter what I do, you know, I think you know it's got you when you, you no matter what you do, you end up doing this. You know, I work with uh, engineers, and so I hear the, well, you know, what's the point of that thing quite often about my work and other people's work. And, and, and then there are people who are fascinated and say, well, how did this, how did this get made? 
and it, and like I said, it's all it's all about just a decision making process. But I, I already like it better. <laughs>